Give me a zoo 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 zoo. So I've been wanting to do a room makeover for the longest time ever. It's actually been a goal of mine for the past two years now, but I haven't had any real motivation to start until quarantine happened, and I realized that I was gonna be in my room a lot more than usual. Over the years, I've tried my hardest to show you as little of my room as possible, so I'm kind of horrified that I have to show you these before clips, but on the bright side, it can only get better from here. I can't tell you how much I hated the vibe of this room. Like, the walls alone. Oh my god, the walls. Our bed sheets were ugly and tacky. Our dressers and furniture were all different shades, so nothing matched. For those of you that don't know, I live with my boyfriend in a casita, so another problem that we had was trying to figure out how to make space. We struggled finding a proper storage system that worked, so a lot of the times that meant that our room was unorganized and we had a lot of clutter. I could go on and on about what needed to be changed, but you'll see what I mean later. We started this project towards the end of April, so it's been about four months since we started, and it has been such a journey. We did the most. We painted the walls, we installed shelves, we got new decor, we got a new bed, we customized our bed frame, we deep cleaned the carpets, we got new curtains. Like, we really went all in on this room and it's a space that we can come home to and it's ours and it makes us feel safe and happy. I never really did that with any of my other bedrooms. So doing this as an adult really means a lot to me. I'm glad that I documented it and get to show you guys. So I just wanted to pop in to do the intro really quick because I don't do much talking in this video. It's gonna be mostly voiceovered, but I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be long as it is. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get started. So this is what our current bed frame looks like. It has these built-in headboards on each side that is just not working for us anymore. So we decided to saw them off. Go for it. After we sawed each side off the bed frame, we went in with a sander to smooth out any rough edges and we gave it a fresh coat of white paint to match the aesthetic of the rest of the room. We didn't actually plan on getting a new mattress, but we ended up seeing a memory foam mattress on sale and we couldn't pass on it. We ended up upgrading from a full size bed to a queen and I am never going back. I've always been so intrigued by mattresses that came in a box. The thought of it was so cool to me, so I was really excited to unbox it and watch it inflate on its own. Like I mentioned earlier, all of our dressers and furniture were different colors, so I could not wait to open up a fresh can of paint and paint them the same color. 
Some of you might remember that this used to be a part of our desk, but because that desk was so huge and it took up so much of our space, we decided to only keep the top half and continue to use it as our little pantry slash a place to store our dishes and utensils. This ended up working out so well for us. We painted it the same color as the dressers, and not only did it provide such a huge storage space for us, but it also really ties the room in together. Because we got rid of our desk, I was in desperate need of a dedicated work area. So we opted for our ladder desk, which is one of the most genius inventions for minimal homes and small spaces. We got this one from Walmart and it was the only one they had. It was a little extra work because of the color that it came in, but nothing a little sanding and paint can't fix. We should open these cans of permanent paint now. That will never ever come off. And if we get it on anything, Mr. Krabs will cut our butts off. And mount them on the wall! <laughs> careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Patrick, the lid's already off. So first order of business is to hide this little AC unit that we have built into the wall. I actually recorded me doing this, but the footage got deleted. So this is what I ended up doing. I ended up just getting these like little fake vines that literally everyone has in their rooms and just placing it around the unit to kind of hide it a little bit. This was just so big and bulky. It was kind of hard to disguise it. So this is like the best thing that I could come up with. I also got this round gold mirror from Target that I'm gonna place right here. And I think it's really gonna tie it all together. I went ahead and took the excess vines that I had and I put them in this little glass jar along with this macrame. And I just hung it right there on my curtain rod. Looks really cute. Show them, show them, show them. Show them how it works. Woo! The next order of business was to take care of our busted, dusted, crusted ass blinds that we had on our front door. So we took a trip to Lowe's to get custom sized blinds to fit our door perfectly. And it was actually a lot easier than I expected. I mean, I didn't do any of the work, my boyfriend did, but it looked easy. And of course, we had to stop at the garden section to pick up a few plants to take home with us. Andrea and I have been really into plants lately. He's the one that got me into it. So I am officially a plant mom. So this is the story of how we turned this into this. This has been one of the most rewarding experiences and I can honestly say that I am so happy with the way that our room turned out. 
It took us a little longer than expected to finish, but it was well worth it. The next thing that we're gonna make over is actually our bathroom, and that's gonna be its own separate video, so make sure to be on the lookout for that. But I wanna thank you guys so much for following us along on this journey. If you like this video, please show it some love by leaving a comment down below and giving it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. As always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Don't